this is Ian with Turretech USA, and today we're going to be installing the Expedition skid plate for the BMW F850GS. It'll also fit the BMW F750GS. I like to start by laying out all the parts that come in the kit. So on this side here, we've got the bracket that mounts underneath the oil pan of the motorcycle. Here we have the sliders for the bottom of the skid plate. Here we have the Expedition skid plate itself. For hardware, we have M6x16 flange head bolts. Here we have the shouldered plastic spacers that go on the sliders at the bottom. These are the coarse thread bolts that go through those plastic spacers. We have two very short, these are M6 by 8 millimeter button head bolts. These are clip nuts, there's six of them. And over here we have two M6 by 20 millimeter bolts. This kit contains two different types of rubber bumpers. These ones are thread in style and these ones are pull through style. You should have four of the pull through, two of the thread ins. I like to print out the instructions ahead of time, go onto the Turretech website, look at the part description, and we'll have the instructions listed on the bottom right hand side. Print these out, you got to have them to install it. The first step to installing the Turretech skid plate is removing the factory skid plate if your bike is equipped with one. This F850GS has its original skid plate and it's held on with four bolts. You need a Torx T30 wrench to remove these four bolts. Now we need to remove the bracket for the front mount of the stock skid plate. This is held on with two bolts. You need a Torx T30 wrench to remove them. Next, we need to install these two rubber bumpers at the front of the skid plate using the two small M6 button head bolts. I'm gonna put a little bit of blue Loctite on these bolts just to keep them from coming loose. I'm going to use a four millimeter Allen wrench to install these screws and just make them hand tight. Now we're gonna set up the bracket that bolts underneath the engine. We're gonna do that with the six clip nuts being installed into the square holes. And we're gonna use the four rubber bumpers and those pull through from the top to the bottom here and here. Now we're going to install the black plastic shouldered spacers onto the skid plate sliders. We're going to use the coarse thread countersunk screws and pay close attention to the instructions because there's six positions where these can fit onto these sliders, but you're only installing three per side, so you need to make sure you get them in the right spot. To do this, you're going to use a Torx bit. It's a Torx T20 size. So now we have all these pieces installed in the correct positions. One tip here is leave these loose enough that you can still turn the shouldered spacer. That makes it a little bit easier to install them into the skid plate when the time comes. Now we're going to install the bracket underneath the engine of the motorcycle. For the front two bolts, we're gonna be using a Torx T30 wrench. And for the rear two bolts, we're gonna be using a four millimeter Allen wrench. I'm gonna put Loctite on all four of these bolts because this bracket is going to stay in place permanently on the motorcycle. You don't have to remove it to change the oil. You reuse the two stock bolts for the front mounting position that you removed when you took off the mounting bracket on the front of the stock skid plate. And at the rear position, you use two of the M6 by 16 millimeter flange head bolts. Now we're going to install the skid plate onto this mounting bracket using the six remaining M6 by 16 millimeter flange head bolts. I'm gonna put a small amount of Loctite on each one of these bolts because they don't have any mechanical locking agent into the nuts. And to install these bolts, you're gonna use a four millimeter Allen tool. The last step is to install these two plastic sliders for the bottom of the skid plate. These sliders engage in the holes at the bottom side of the skid plate using the shouldered spacers that you installed earlier. So make sure that they engage fully, slide them backwards so they lock into place, and then put the bolt in the front to get them locked into position. 
Okay, the skid plate is installed. Now your F850 or F750 GS is ready to ride off-road without risking damage to the underside of the motorcycle. Be sure to visit the Turatech-USA.com website for more products for your bike. And if you want to, take a picture of your skid plate out doing work in the outdoors and share it with us on Facebook or Instagram. Sounds good. We'll see you again.